Hello YouTube and welcome to this edition of Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. As you can see, we're back in the shop after taking a couple of weeks off. Uh, we were getting ready to head out to the Texas Motor Speedway where we were last weekend uh, for the 50th annual paint swap meet. We had a great time out there. I was able to see some old friends, sell a lot of stuff, buy a little stuff as well. But we're back at home now, back in shop. And you can see we were able to get the replacement hood uh, as you saw in our last episode, the hood that H&H uh, &H brought me, they brought the wrong year model. They brought one from a uh, like a 68 to a 72, and we needed one for 1966. They agreed that's what I had ordered, and they brought the wrong box. The one I had ordered through H&H &H was actually a Cal induction hood. This is a factory hood. I actually get, got this one through Speedway Motors. So we're going to get it, put on the car, uh, Today or tomorrow, we'll start on that. But the main thing we're gonna do is try to get it on the lift here this afternoon and start trying to get some of this decking pinned down. Uh, while I was out of pocket last week, Buddy did uh, all the trimming that was necessary left. So we're, our goal this weekend is to have this thing ready to paint by the end of Saturday. And that is our goal, and I think that's very achievable. So stay with me, and we'll be right back with you, and we'll get started. Welcome back, and we are going to get started here on the Nova. Tommy's getting the late model ready to get off the lift. We are still waiting on shocks. I don't know, I guess it's been three weeks now we're waiting on shocks for this car. And we have all the pieces we need for the transmission, but uh, they're going to be nice enough and let me get on the lift since I'm old and I can get up under to do this decking on this car. I do want to show you what Buddy got done while I was at Texas Motor Speedway last week. He came in, he's trimmed all this really, really, really sharp, looks really nice. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and fasten all this down and we're going to, we wasn't sure how to go about doing it. We decided to go ahead and, and actually permanently rivet this down now. And then we're going to fix this deck and right, you know, get all this where this is correct now. But he got everything trimmed around the edge and uh, it really looks good, tight. So uh, that's really nice. Uh, we're going to do that. And then of course we got the new hood. I'm going to leave these pieces back here. We're going to go ahead and put the new hood on, and we will uh, weld some new straps to the front. I actually ordered them. They came in from Speedway as well. We've got those. But that's uh, kind of the game plan for right now. There's the new hood. And uh, I've got to cut a hole in it here. Then we'll have to figure out what we're going to do about a hood scoop. Uh, I haven't decided. I kind of like that L88 scoop that was on the original hood that was on the car, but... I'm actually thinking about leaving a hole in there and just having the air cleaner come through by itself. So you can see how high it'll be, but I think that may look pretty cool. Uh, just have a, the air cleaner hole uh, or the air cleaner by itself come through without a scoop. So you can let me know, comment, let me know what you think about that. But anyway, all right, well, we're going to try to get some stuff moved around here. We'll be right back with you. Welcome back, YouTube. And as you can see, they are prepping the car by pulling the plastic off. And as you can, as you know, that's only for one reason. And we finally have the route. So, uh, see what it's gonna look like right there. It seems like that's all we do is pull plastic off on this show, but, but you leave it on there till the last minute to let it protect the body as much as possible. I got the Nova up on the uh, rack and I'm just out of gas for today, but I was going to get here now and try to get these uh, decking panels done. So I may go and do a couple of them here just for a few minutes, but anyway, we got some exciting things. Big day planned tomorrow, which will be actually Saturday here, but uh, hopefully we can get, uh, get a little bit done around here, but we'll be right back with you. Well, welcome back YouTube. And as you can see, we got enough energy rounded up here to try to put a few rivets here in the bottom of the decking. And this is not anything really high tech. Uh, we're just going to drill some holes all the way across. But the main thing, you wanna make sure that this is level. So every time I put a uh, rivet in, I check the top and, and make sure that it's flush on the top, you know, across each panel. So that's the most important thing. But once once you get a few of these spread out, then then it'll stay uh, 
stay flat on the top, but you want to be real careful and make sure that uh, stays flush. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. You just simply run your finger here across this groove and make sure that it's still flat and we are good everywhere. So we go ahead and finish putting the rest of these in this one panel. We've got to do uh, one, two, three, four, and then we'll have this first one done. Then we'll go ahead and fasten it down across the front as well. So we'll get that done real quick and be right back with you. Okay, welcome back YouTube. And you can see we got all of the underside done on this first panel. And what I like to do is go ahead and we're gonna do one panel at a time, complete it, and then we'll work our way over cause it's real easy for, this, for some of the stuff to move. So we've got all of our rivets here lined up and we'll go ahead and shoot a couple of them here and get this panel down. Um, all right. Right on the edge. Um, we should have been a little bit, just a little bit closer. Oh, that's close enough. That's, that's, pretty, that's a little bit. I'll come back and try to trim that off just a hair. Okay, so we'll pop out these last couple of um, Clecos. Stick a couple of rivets in here. And then it will be repeat and repeat. So the first panel is in officially. And you can see now how that is a lot solid, a lot more solid. And it just makes, uh, as we go across, that'll get better all the way across. But uh, man, that looks sharp. I am just tickled to death with that. Um, now there's a little bit of a gap up there, but that doesn't mean anything. That's because that's way back here, two inches further back. But the front side you can see is, Jelly roll tight. All right, we'll keep on going across here. I won't bore you with the rest of the details. Next time we we'll talk to you, hopefully we'll have this all the way in, all the way across. So we'll be right back with you. Welcome back, YouTube. And about an hour and a half, two hours later, and 75 rivets, the decking is in. Solid as a rock. I tell you what, I am just... I think it's one of the most prouder things I've done on this car is this interior. Turns the light around so it's not blinding you so bad. Uh, but man, I tell you what, the seams are all just perfectly flat. Only thing I do, we gotta take this panel back out. This is actually supposed to go on top of this and Buddy's already put it in, so we'll drill it out tomorrow and flip that over. But uh, man, I tell you what, I am so pleased with this. Tickled to death. And um, got it all trimmed and all the way across. I say it's just solid. I don't know if you can see how smooth that is, though. It's just a nice. That's why you put that lip on there and makes it so strong and um, really looks good. So I'm very, very pleased with it. So, anyway, that's going to do it for today. We'll come out here tomorrow and start back up and uh, say we'll do a little more. Uh, a little more interior work on that side panel over there. Then we will also uh, start tackling the hood. So that's going to be a, a major deal for tomorrow. And um, I didn't realize, I was looking over here on the, while I was going, I was in San Antonio all week, and I noticed that Buddy had already gone and bought the paint. So I didn't realize that. So it was up here stuck away in front of the shop. There we go. That's the secret color, mix sticks. Got a couple rolls of plastic here and uh, tape everything off. So 
We're getting close. There's a little sneak peek of, sneak peek of Ryan's uh, wrap. My son will come here tomorrow. I think he's going to put that on. But anyway, we're going to call it a day. We will see you tomorrow morning. And we'll get started back on this thing again. Talk to you later. Welcome back, YouTube. And as you can see, we've already got a bright and early start this morning. And Uncle Heath is doing his magic. So we'll keep up with this progress as well. And uh, we're going to start trying to get this hood off this Nova and see what we can get done there. So uh, that's going to be the first project. So we'll be right back with you. Okay, welcome back, YouTube. And kind of got a rough measurement here. We laid this out. We're going to cut this thing. I'm concerned about the structure on the bottom of the hood actually interfering with the breathers on the valve cover. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and cut out the area for the carburetor. And then uh, we'll go from there and we'll just start opening the hood up uh, in larger areas as needed. But we'll get this laid out here and get it cut and uh, go from there. Okay, welcome back. And we got the hood, as you saw, test fitted, fitted there. Um, got a couple of areas here. It's going to hit on this bar right here. So we're going to have to do a little trimming here. But I'm going to try to leave as much of this structure in here to keep it from warping like the original hood did. So I'm going to try to trim some of this out here. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, this is uh, it's a heavy hood. I hadn't decided yet uh, about how much size or what size this hole here is going to be. We'll keep looking at it. Uh, once we get where it fits, then we'll come back and decide what we're going to do about the air cleaner. So uh, let's get this cut out and we'll continue on. Okay, welcome back YouTube. And we're having to trim out so much. Um, we're going to go ahead and take this interior structure out. I hate to do this but hopefully it won't uh, flex too much. We're gonna go ahead and take this whole interior out because we're gonna end up cutting so much out, we're gonna lose a lot of strength, especially when I do the center. So uh, we're gonna use this death trap I've made here with this blade. I went ahead and uh, put a um, handle on it now, made it a little bit safer, but uh, we'll go ahead and try to take this interior out and see what we can get, so bear with me. Welcome back YouTube and we got the frame out successfully, which was a major undertaking, but we got it out. And luckily the glue things came out really easy. So we're thankful on that. So we got it fit. We had test fitted here. We had to take out, just make a couple of changes they had to the body. We got everything ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and weld it up now. We're gonna, it's it's different than a factory hood. We're, you see here where it's not quite boated. We're just gonna do a little, a couple of good tacks to hold it. And then we will sit, give it a test lift, if you will. But we got our, our gap here about the same on both sides. But, oh, very pleased. This was a major job. I had no idea it was going to involve this much effort. But we're going to uh, see if we can uh, tack this real quick. I'm gonna let Buddy do. I did the last ones. I'm gonna. Okay, we got this other side here tacked now. So this is the moment of truth. Uh, I'm a little concerned. But let's see. Okay, good. I was worried about the middle back there, but that's perfect. How about that, folks? How about that? Good deal. Awesome. All righty. Well, hope you enjoyed that process. That was painful, but we got it done. So um, out with the old and in with the new. New reproduction. Hood. So we got to figure out what we're going to do about the... Uh, I may put an air cleaner on it. We may just play around and see what we're going to do about the air hole in the carburetor. I'm actually thinking about a hole for the carburetor, I should say, but 
I'm actually thinking about just maybe rounding that off a little bit, but me and Buddy will come up with some type of ideas, so we'll get back with you on that. Okay, welcome back, YouTube. And what we decided to do is uh, I took the air shears or electric shears and cut this panel out. We're going to just try this and see what it looks like. And Buddy's going to finish up here with the hand snips and we'll put it back on and see uh, what we got. But this may look okay without going with the... Back in the day, you could have a hood scoop or have the cleaner sticking up through the air. And um, I'm not sure... We'll, we'll maybe be something y'all can vote on. Y'all can let us know what you like. But uh, I know one thing, the hood's getting lighter, isn't it, buddy? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, when we was putting this thing on this morning, first thing, it was... God, I almost had to have a crane truck in here to pick it up. But... Um, but we got this ridge here in the middle race but we're having a hand cut that and we're trying to be careful of course it's not no mercedes benz or cadillac but we do want it to look as nice as we can here okay all right so so let's uh put it back on and we'll see what we got bear with me we'll be right back with you well, we had a meeting of the minds, and we have decided to go with the hood scoop. Buddy, pick that hood scoop up there, or pick the hood scoop up, and we'll take show. Yeah, take it off, and we will. Uh... At first, I said, well, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, okay. And uh, we have to ding the bottom of the air cleaner here on the base for the throttle, which that's common. You have to do all the time. All right, put it back on there again now. So you got that view. And you got that view. And be honest with you, I think it looks better with the hood scoop. I, I didn't think I was going to like it at first, but I think we are. So what we're going to do, we're going to modify this. This is, I mean, this will go down real. This is old. This hood scoop's 30 years old. What we're going to do, we're going to just trim this out here, take that back hole out. And plus, I've marked on the front here. Well, we're going to not last time he had notched it so we're going to get this where it goes over this ridge there you can see that so anyway so the jury has spoken and that is the verdict we are going to put the hood scoop on the car so we're going to keep rolling we'll be right back with you welcome back and we got the hood pretty much completely finished and i'm really happy very happy with how it turned out as you can see, we went ahead and got the hood scoop mounted temporarily. Still got to notch this out a little bit right here, but we've got the hood pins in and got everything welded on the back. Hinges work perfect. And uh, just really, really pleased how, how that came out. So got this panel in right here. So now that's all tied in to the roll cage now. So we're pretty much ready for paint. We're going to try to come out here tomorrow after church tomorrow afternoon and uh i need to adjust this rear end i think i need to lengthen the j bar still uh the rear end is kind of doing weird things every time we jack it up it's wanting to scoot over i know some of you have asked about that it's just a smudge from a cutting torch i've got to touch that up right there with some paint but uh got this panel put back in place we had to tuck it on top of the interior back there but man looks good also We've got a late model now that's got the wrap on it. And we appreciate all of our sponsors, Johnny's Pizza, Down Home Meats, ABC Auto Parts, and Greg Tilly's Mobile Home Service. Looks pretty good. Got the Humphrey Racing decals on there. And we got the transmission in it. So he's bleeding the clutch now. So we are waiting on shocks. That's what we need. So anyway, just want to show you a little bit. I also stuck the grill there in the car so you can see how it looks a little bit. But uh, real pleased with everything. So uh, hopefully get this thing ready for paint, finish up tomorrow afternoon. So uh, sit tight. We'll be right back with you. Welcome back. Appreciate you guys joining us on this episode of Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. 
And boy, I'm so happy to have this hood on this car. But we're making some progress after being off a couple of weeks and doing some other things. But hey, I appreciate you guys joining us. And remember, if you have not subscribed to the channel, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would. Tell your friends about it. We continue to grow a little bit each week, but I'm thankful for that. So hey, you guys have a fantastic week, and we will see you next time on Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. Take care.